Aloha everyone. We are in Hawaii and I have a brother here who had a dream and uh, he has a story to tell. Um, and I am going to say that uh, you test the prophets. We all test the prophets, right? And uh, and so you, you know, we'd love for you guys to pray over what you hear, and let us know what you think. So here is my brother Isaac, and he's going to tell you his amazing dream. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Isaac Caillou, and in. 1988, the Lord had me experience the rapture. And one night, I was sleeping with me and my two-year-old son. And all of a sudden, I, I heard the Lord say, come up here. Now, I'm sleeping, right? But the next thing I know, my spirit is out of my body. And I'm looking at my body, and I'm looking at my son, you know, lying next to me, and we're sleeping. And I just shot up through the roof and into the night, the night. And I was, I was up there, and I was looking at the world. And the world looked darkish gray. It covered the whole world. And while I was up there in the night sky, I looked to my left and I seen all these bright shining stars. And then I looked to my right and then I see all these bright shining stars, right? <laughs> and I'm going, okay, I'm, I'm up here. Uh, what is this? You know, I, I didn't I didn't know it was the rapture. I didn't know I was experiencing the rapture. But the song that came to my mind was uh, uh, Amazing Grace, right? That there, there we shall be with the Lord, you know, bright shining stars, right? Forever and ever. And, and so it was then that I, I said, okay, uh, this is the rapture. I heard the Lord say, come up here and and I was up there and experiencing wow. all this. And here's here's the part where, you know, it just freaked me out. As fast as I went up there, you know, I came down as fast as I went wow. up there. And I, I thought I was going to get, you know, slammed into the earth, right? Mm -hmm. And then while, while I was looking, you know, I could see through this grayish, dark, vapor like was there cloud mm -hmm. and as I look I seen these three people standing there and then all of a sudden they started running towards me I mean fast like they're there one time and then the next thing I know they're they're right there in my face trying to attack me mm -hmm. and so I just you know put my hands over my eyes and I close my eyes and then all of a sudden I, I heard Toom, 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 like they was trying to get to me, you know. Toom, 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 like they was trying to get to me. So when I when I heard that thumping sound, I opened my eyes and I seen this shield, this bright shield over me, protecting me from these demons. Okay, so they were demons trying to attack me. Wait, and you were aware. Well, I was back on the earth. Oh, back on the yeah. earth. Yeah. Okay. You know, first the rapture took place, then yeah. I was back on the earth, uh -huh. and the Lord had me uh, experience this. What, what was going to happen on the earth okay. when the church is taken out of the earth? You know, uh, caught up. Yeah. And this is, this is was like a, a preview of what was going to happen in the great tribulation and i believe this is the uh, the first three and a half years okay. and uh <coughs> but but while i was up there there was also there was something also that i, I seen 
was like this red lava because uh, I live in Hawaii and it, and it seemed like this red lava was flowing out of this mountain so I thought it was the volcano right? Mm, yeah. and in this red lava that was flowing I saw all these lights that was flickering off and on okay off and on and that that's what I I saw in my rapture dream so the next morning wait is this part two because I might do two videos uh, or is this the same event this is this is the, the 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 dream that the Lord had me experience experience the rapture uh, but before we get fast forward to 2005 where the Lord spoke to me about his coming that that morning I spoke to my mom about experience the rapture and my mom she can interpret dreams so every time I have a dream the first person I I run to is my mom because that's her gift that's the gift the Lord has given to her and visions so she interpreted the, the dream and she said that all these lights that was in this lava, this red lava, mm -hmm. the, the lava represented the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And all these lights that was flickering in this red lava mm -hmm. was those who were left behind. Oh, wow. Their lights were dim. Mm. They have, like Jesus said about the, the ten virgins, you know, their lamps had was burned out, you know. Mm. So they were, they were left behind. Wow. Right. And uh, and so that's that that's what my mom was telling me, you know, as, you know when the rapture is taking place, you know, right. there there'll be those who will be left behind but not not being prepared not be watching you know a lot of us Christians yeah we we know that one day the rapture will take place we know that mm -hmm. and and the Lord told us to watch see mm -hmm. a lot of us we say uh, we we ready we're ready we know we know the Lord is coming soon mm -hmm. but a lot of us are not watching mm -hmm. okay we might we might hear the rapture and all these young people that is coming on YouTube I mean I praise God you know he's raising up this young generation to reach the young generation of today yeah and and I believe that what what these young people and some some elderly people are saying that they have experienced the rapture and some of them even proclaim with all boldness and courage that Jesus is coming mm -hmm. in 2020 mm -hmm. some have believed that Jesus is coming very very soon mm -hmm. and they said he could come back right now even today while I'm doing this video <laughs> amen right can can you say something to maybe someone that's watching that doesn't know what the rapture is and doesn't feel like they're ready for whatever you're talking about what would you tell them how would you tell them to get ready like a believer and a non-believer well for the believers you know uh, try the spirit you know whether it's of God whether it's of God or of man mm -hmm. or whether the person is just making it up well how do they get ready for the rapture though well to the unbelievers it's to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't know the Lord, you know, uh, all, all you have to do is, is say, Lord, are you real? You know, if you're real, show yourself. Uh, reveal yourself to me. Even if this, rap this rapture, uh, show me a dream of the rapture. And when you ask, and if you ask sincerely, He will. And if you ask Him to come into your heart 
and forgive me of, of all your sins, he will. Because he will in no wise, you know, cast anybody away, you know. Mm -hmm. We're going to so, have to do a part two here. Yeah. And, and, uh, okay. So, so thank you. God bless you guys. Yeah. Yeah. The thing went so, out. So, oh, okay, so we just want to make sure you know that if you, whether you believe in the rapture or not, Jesus is going to come back, like Isaac said, and even had a heavenly experience that reinforced that. And it could be, you know, sooner than later. But if you don't know Jesus, like Isaac said, you just ask him in your heart, ask him to take over your life, ask him to forgive you of your sins, and he will. And he also said, if you need to know that he's real and you don't know, ask him and he will reveal himself to you that he is real that he loves you that you are his creation he has a purpose for you and you don't need to be left behind when that rapture happens right so part two is coming stay tuned <laughs>